coming to what I consider perhaps the most important location to treat fungus would be your gut. This is theoretical, but I think it makes sense. And sort of the, the naturopathic philosophy on this is fungal overgrowths start from the gut and then work their way outward. That might not be always true and, and the, the case, but I think it's probably generally true. I also wanted to share this study from gastroenterologist Satish Rao, who's been on the podcast in the past, looking at people with unexplained gastrointestinal symptoms. Remember earlier I discussed bloating, loose bowels as some of the most common presentation. He found that in these people with symptoms that didn't have a known cause, 21% had small intestinal fungal overgrowth. Sadly, this is an area where we don't have comparative randomized control trials. We have in vitro studies telling us about if these compounds have antifungal activity. However, coming back to my opening quote from ILADS, evidence-based medicine is a combination of the best evidence with clinical experience and patient preference. There is a lot of clinical data showing that people can, let's say, clear a stool test or a breath test when using various herbals like oregano and garlic. In fact, these are the two that I think are probably the most powerful and the best to consider utilizing if you have or suspect you have gastrointestinal candida. Oregano can be used at a dose of anywhere between 200 and 600 milligrams per day. Most oregano capsules are about 50 milligrams per capsule. And garlic can be used at 1500 milligrams per day, given that study that we discussed earlier. And I think you can probably go higher with that dose, maybe as high as 4,500 milligrams per day. These are all things you want to check with your healthcare provider. But nevertheless, um, for gastrointestinal candida, at least to start, we're thinking oregano, garlic. And again, I would pair this with a probiotic, given the fact that we know that probiotics can, amongst other things, inhibit candida biofilms. 